Guys, today we are reacting to the Netherlands secretly becoming insanely rich and powerful. Do you think this is an accurate statement? If you are from the Netherlands, do you feel like you are becoming rich and powerful? Let me know in the comments. This video is from The Diplomat. The link to the video is in the description if you want to check out the channel. And let's see what this is all about. The Netherlands is the 131st largest country in landmass and 66th globally in population. A country that is famous for its tulips, windmills, cheese and bicycles. Nice. A country that is also one of the most innovative, progressive and prosperous in the world. Cheese and bicycles, you don't need anything else. Rather, why don't you eat cheese while riding a bicycle? This small European nation is bordered by Germany, Belgium and the North Sea. It is home to 17 million people who speak Dutch and enjoy a nice. high quality of life. The country is known for its liberal policies on social issues and is a leading European tourist destination thanks to the infamous coffee shops of Amsterdam. But something else makes the Netherlands stand out from the rest of the world. What does he mean by infamous coffee shops? Is he saying what I think he's saying? Oh, uh, that's low if, he, if that's what he meant. I mean, the Netherlands has a lot more to offer. The, the fact that he said infamous makes me think he's talking about something, you know, green. Something that most people don't know about. Something that could make it one of the wealthiest countries in the world and an emerging superpower. The Netherlands is the second largest food producer in the world okay. and a leader in food innovation and technology. The country has developed some of the most advanced and efficient methods of growing, processing, and distributing food globally. Methods that could solve some of the biggest challenges facing our planet today. How did the Netherlands become a food powerhouse? How does it feed itself and millions of others with such limited land and resources? And how does it plan to use its food advantage to become one of the wealthiest countries in the world? Join us today as we explore how the Netherlands has used food and technology to covertly become a new superpower. There are just over seven. I mean, seriously, technology is the future and food has always been necessary. So food and technology is the best that somebody can invest on because everybody needs food and technology is the way forward. So, hey, if this is true, then the Netherlands is about to become the global leader of trade food and technology to covertly become a new superpower there are just over 7.9 billion people on earth with nice. projections to reach 9.7 billion by 2050 that's a According lot of people to the world wildlife foundation we need to produce more food in the next 30 years than in the past 8,000 years combined what but producing more food is not enough we also need to produce it in a sustainable, healthy, and fair way. We need to reduce our environmental impact, improve our nutrition, and ensure that everyone has access to enough food. This is where the Netherlands comes in. The Netherlands is a small country with a big appetite for food. The country's agricultural sector contributes significantly to global food exports, with over 100 billion euros of agricultural products exported annually. That's a lot the of money. The feeds not only itself, but also millions of people around the world. How does it do it? The answer lies in its history, geography, culture, and innovation. You know, I think this is a chat GPT script with an AI voice. So I don't know how accurate or how um you know reliable this information is frankly but bear with me let's 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 humor this video and, and keep on going you can fact check this and you can correct this video if it's wrong uh i'm not gonna take everything they say you know a hundred percent to the word but you know we'll, we'll keep going and see if you know the Netherlands has a long tradition of farming and trading. Since the Middle Ages, the Dutch have cultivated crops and livestock on fertile land and waterways. They've also been... And the, the reason I'm saying that is because it sounds like it's um, a little bit repetitive. The answer lies in its history, geography, culture, and innovation. 
The Netherlands has a long tradition of farming and trading. Since the Middle Ages, the Dutch have cultivated crops and livestock on fertile land and waterways. They've also been exporting their products to other countries, especially during the golden age of the 17th century, when they dominated global trade and commerce. The Netherlands also has a unique geography that gives it an advantage in food production. The country is primarily flat and low-lying, with about half its land area below sea level. Yeah. And this means it has plenty of water and soil for irrigation and drainage. Is that why it's is it is that why it's called the Netherlands? Um in I think Spanish and Portuguese, the the literal translation of the, the country is for example, in Portuguese it's Paises Baixos, right? Which means lowlands. Um Nether I might have to look that up to see if that means low in in some in some um some version of of the english word, uh, language it also has a mild climate that allows for year-round cultivation its strategic location and long history in shipping and ports mean it has earned the nickname the yeah so i'm just googling <laughs> nether it's an adjective which means lower in position. So yeah, nether. Netherlands means lower in position. Lands that are lower in position. So that's why. The gateway to Europe, further fueling its economic success. Okay, guys, I'm getting lost. Let's go back. And drainage. It also has a mild climate that allows for year-round cultivation. Its strategic location and long history in shipping and ports mean it has earned the nickname the gateway to Europe, further nice. fueling its economic success. But perhaps the most important factor that makes the Netherlands a food powerhouse is its culture of innovation and collaboration. The Dutch have always been open to new ideas and technologies that can improve their food system. They Smart. have invested heavily in research and development, education and training, infrastructure and logistics, and public-private partnerships. That's where the technology the comes in. The result is a network of farmers, scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs, policymakers, and consumers who work together to create some of the world's most advanced and efficient solutions for food production and distribution. Whether it's colonialism, football, a unique way of attracting tourists, or food production, this small football. European country always succeeds. Guys, is football like the most popular sport in the Netherlands? I know that football is like probably the most popular sport in the world, um, especially Brazil, where I come from. So now, and I know you know the Netherlands has a strong team, or at least they used to have the the what's the name? The Orange Machine? What's the name of the the? What do you guys call it? I forgot now, but yeah. Food production. This small European country always succeeds. Now they are forging their place amongst the global superpowers and are rapidly becoming one of the wealthiest nations in the world. Technology. One of the biggest challenges facing the world today is how to feed a growing population with limited land and resources. According to the World Bank, the global demand for food will increase by 70% by 2050, while the available arable land will decrease by 20%. Essentially, we need to produce more food with less space, water, energy, and inputs. This is where Dutch innovations in vertical farming come in. Vertical farming is growing crops indoors, in layers with artificial lighting and climate control. Okay. Instead of relying on natural sunlight and soil, vertical farms use LED lights and hydroponics or aeroponics to create optimal conditions for plant growth. This allows them to grow crops all year round, regardless of the weather or season. I mean, the that's Netherlands that's pretty smart, but it, does it influence the the growth in any way? Because I I don't like. Bro, how, how could you... Oh, that's interesting, right? Because I don't think LED lights have the same power as the sun. Like, does it... Oh, that is mind-boggling now. But I'm not a scientist, so... ...is a pioneer and a leader in vertical farming. 
the country has several vertical farms that produce high quality and diverse products such as lettuce, herbs, strawberries, and mushrooms. For example, Plant Lab is a company that operates vertical farms in urban areas such as Amsterdam and Rotterdam. It claims that its farms can produce up to 200 times more food per square meter than conventional farms. Another example is that Philips, can't be natural, a Dutch can it? multinational company known for its electronics and lighting products. It has also ventured into the field of food technology by creating a vertical farm in Eindhoven that uses LED lights to grow lettuce indoors. The lights can be adjusted to different colors and intensities to optimize plant growth and quality. The farm also uses sensors to monitor temperature, humidity, CO2 levels, and water consumption. Duivest in Tomatoes is a farm that uses a hydroponic system and geothermal energy to grow tomatoes in greenhouses. They produce a higher yield of tomatoes in less space, using fewer resources. They only use half a gallon of water to grow a pound of tomatoes, while the global average is 28 gallons per pound. They use no pesticides, and pipes deliver waste CO2 from a local oil refinery into the greenhouses. I mean, which the plants need to grow further, reducing carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere. That's great. Vertical farming saves space, water, and energy, and reduces the need for pesticides. It can increase yield and quality while reducing transport and emissions. For instance, Plant Lab says that its farms use 95% less water and 90% less energy than traditional farms. As a major exporter of dairy and meat products, the Netherlands faces criticism for its production methods, environmental and animal welfare impacts. I would the say Netherlands that produced four million cows. I know that um, people they they complain about every everything, um, but I, w I was gonna say, isn't this something that people would comment on and say that it's probably not natural? I don't know. I don't know the effects though. Environmental and animal welfare impacts. The Netherlands produced 4 million cows, 13 million pigs, and 104 million chickens in 2022 and was Europe's biggest meat exporter. But the country faces criticism for its production methods' environmental impacts. The Netherlands emitted That's 118 repetitive. megatons of nitrogen oxides in 2022, 8% wow. lower than in 2019. The government has tried to address these issues by encouraging more sustainable farming practices and cutting down on the use of antibiotics in livestock. However, the conflict has arisen due to the conservative government's coalition promise to reduce nitrogen emissions by 50% by 2030. In 2022, the country produced 118 megatons of nitrogen oxides from livestock, a reduction of just 8% since 2019, so they have a long way to go. This has triggered Indeed protests they do. from farmers and ranchers who claim that the proposed measures would harm their livelihoods. The protests have also raised broader questions about balancing economic growth and environmental sustainability in the Netherlands. Another challenge facing the world today is ensuring that the food we produce and consume is safe, nutritious, and sustainable. According to the World Health Organization, about 1 in 10 people get sick from eating contaminated food every year, wow. and about 420,000 die. Moreover, a third of the food produced globally is lost or wasted, which amounts to about 1.3 billion tons annually. This means we are wasting food and the resources and energy that go into producing it. But how can we prevent that? The Netherlands uses sensors, robots, drones, and artificial intelligence to monitor and optimize food production and processing. These technologies are applied in different stages of the food chain from farm to fork to ensure that food is grown, harvested, sorted, packaged, and traced most efficiently and safely. The Netherlands has many examples of how technology and innovation are used to improve food quality and safety. For instance, Wageningen University and Research WUR, is a world-renowned institution that conducts cutting-edge research on various aspects of food and agriculture. It has developed several innovations, such as a soil scanner that can measure soil quality and fertility in real time, a crop robot that can detect and remove weeds without herbicides, a drone that can spray crops with precision and accuracy, wow. and an artificial intelligence system that can analyze plant diseases and pests. Section 3 how the Netherlands collaborates with other countries and organizations to share its food expertise and solutions. The Netherlands is not only a food powerhouse in its own right, 
but also a food partner for the world. One of the reasons for its success is its location and access to the port of Rotterdam, the largest deep water port in Europe and one of the top 10 in the world. The port of Rotterdam connects the Netherlands with major food producing regions such as North and South America and the Black Sea region and large markets such as the United States, United Kingdom and China. I mean, However, they are very well located, right? To European countries, especially Germany, which accounted for 24% of Dutch agricultural exports in 2022. The port of Rotterdam also offers a wide range of services and facilities for the transshipment and storage of agricultural products. And isn't this the biggest corn, in the world? Grains, soybeans, and oil seeds. In addition, the port of Rotterdam hosts several companies that specialize in processing and trading agricultural products, such as Dasha Mills, ADM, Cargill, and Protex. The port is also a hub for innovation and sustainability in the food sector, with projects such as the Rotterdam Food Hub, which is a 60-hectare industrial site dedicated to the agro-food industry and various biofuel production plants. The port is vital for the Netherlands to be one of the largest food exporters in the world, with a total export value of 122.3 billion euros in 2022, which was 17% higher than in 2021. It is expected that the Netherlands will become the world's largest food exporter in the near future. The Netherlands is not satisfied with being a food powerhouse and a food partner. The country also has a strategic vision for its food sector that aims for strategic alliances with countries across the globe. The Netherlands has many plans to use its food advantage to become the richest country in the world. I mean, for example, the government is developing I mean, he's been saying that since the beginning of the video, but is this like a government-led um, in in initiative? Like, does the government actually want to use my dog? Can you hear my dog? She wants to go outside. Um, how long is this video? We have five more minutes, so just wait. Lizzie. Developing new products that can meet the changing needs and preferences of consumers, such as plant-based meat, insect protein, and cultured meat. These products offer alternatives to animal-based products that are more sustainable, healthy, and ethical. Food security is a critical aspect of many countries' strategic long-term vision. This means that should a country face a period of hardship during a war or a blockage of food imports, they have the means to produce food for its citizens domestically. One example of this is its cooperating with Saudi Arabia to boost its indoor farming sector, okay. which is crucial for improving the country's food security and reducing its dependence on imported leafy crops. In 2022, Al Rashid Greenhouses, a Saudi agricultural firm, partnered with Plant Lab, a Dutch food products supplier, to set the highest international indoor farming standards for local production. The partnership aims to enhance the production efficiency of indoor farming. Res okay, so my dog was rescued by my wife. Say hi. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? <laughs> okay, let's just finish this video. Strict Danger. irrigation water and energy consumption and trade foreign technology. The partnership also aims to develop indoor farms using locally manufactured materials, which will shift the Saudi industrial sector's paradigm. Yo, like, we know that Saudi Arabia is loaded with money, loaded. So pairing up with um, the Netherlands, that is going to really, really make the Netherlands um, blow up, you know. We've seen the, the recent rise of um, the economy in Saudi Arabia and all of these. The, the thing is, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia has what the Western world wants, right? Which is petrol, gas, and stuff like that. Um, and um, if the Netherlands has the other part, which is food, which is much more important, then, whoa, we're talking about the, literally a powerhouse. The Netherlands is a leader in the global food industry and a valuable partner for Saudi Arabia in its quest for food security and sustainability. But food is just the beginning, and it is technological advancements where they are forging a position of power. To understand this, we must go back to 1984, when a joint venture between ASM International and Philips was founded. 
ASML's core focus is on the global computer chip industry, where they develop sophisticated technology to produce computer chips. ASML is not just a supplier, but an innovator in the field of photolithography, which is the process of creating patterns on silicon using light. ASML has developed a unique technology called Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography, EUV, which allows... Wait a second. So are you telling me that the when he said food and technology they're not the they're not combined so food is one sector that they're investing in and then technology is another sector i thought it was the technology of producing food that's what i would was understanding from the beginning allows it to make chips with features as small as three nanometers about the size of a strand of dna wow this technology gives aasml a huge advantage over its competitors who are years behind in terms of chip-making capabilities. ASML's EUV machines are so advanced that they are the only ones in the world that can produce the most cutting-edge chips. ASML's role in the global chip industry has also made it a key player in the ongoing rivalry between the U.S. and China, which are competing for technological and economic supremacy. The U.S. wants to limit China's access to ASML's EUV machines because they fear that China could use them to gain an edge in areas such as artificial intelligence, military Bro. technology, Bro. and productivity. The U.S. has pressured the Netherlands to restrict the export of EUV machines to China. Even though the Dutch have strong trade ties with China, ASML has succumbed to global lobbying and only keeps exports to China to a limited quantity. China, on the other hand, has been trying to develop its own chip-making technology, but it still needs to catch up to ASML and faces many challenges. Yeah, that's crazy because, you know, the Netherlands is also very famous for engineering. And, yo, you guys are very advanced. China has denounced the U.S.'s actions as bullying and hegemonic and has accused it of violating market rules and disrupting international trade orders. ASML's position in the chip industry has also attracted a lot of attention from other countries and companies that want to benefit from its technology and expertise. The U.S. has announced a $76 billion program to boost its domestic chip production and reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers like China. Many chip makers from around the world have announced plans to build factories in the U.S. using ASML's EUV machines. ASML has also collaborated with research institutions such as the Eindhoven University of Technology to advance its technology and train its workforce. ASML's success has made it one of the most valuable tech companies in Europe and the world, with its stock price rising by more than 300% since 2018. ASML is a remarkable example of how a small company from a small town can become a global leader and a game changer in the semiconductor industry. It is also a testament to how technology can shape geopolitics and economics in the 21st century. ASML's EUV machines are not just tools for making chips, but also instruments for influencing the balance of power between nations. In summary, the Netherlands has quietly become a force to be reckoned with in the world of food and technology. With its innovative approaches, strategic collaborations, and commitment to sustainability, the country is forging its path as one of the wealthiest and most influential nations in the world. That is crazy how the Netherlands is, you know, one step of, ahead of the world. Isn't ASML like uh, the, that sound thing that people keep like doing? Oh, that's ASMR. Oh, <laughs> I was OK. Never mind. I thought they had the same name. ASMR, ASML, okay. Um, by the way, let's see, there's like a few seconds left. The Netherlands serves as a shining example of how a small nation can leverage its strengths and expertise to make a significant impact on the global stage. If you've watched until now, thanks for joining us and let us know what you think in the comments. See you soon for our next video. Hey, that's cool. That, that's a nice video. Although the script is a little bit repetitive, um, it is informative. Now, I don't know how reliable the information is, but the fact that uh, the Netherlands is blowing up right now is insane. Like, a small country becoming insanely rich and powerful um, in, in, in this economy, you know. Um, 
let's see a, a little bit of the the comments let's see what people are saying so some people are saying first comment um i'm not noticing any of that <laughs> are you guys noticing just want to add something our real world dominance is not technology or agriculture it's the stroop waffle and Thorn. I don't know what that is. The Dutch government is actively destroying the farmers in order to reduce CO2 and save the climate. The farmers have to go. So long story. So long story short, if the Netherlands gets destroyed by flooding, the world has a problem. That is a very interesting point. I mean, if if the Netherlands is the, the food powerhouse and if something like this tragedy happens like flood because you know but I, the Netherlands has a very interesting technology that helps it not get flooded right uh, it was sinking a few decades ago and then the country did something so that it would stop sinking um very interesting technology that was implemented. Netherlands, good with football. Also Netherlands. No, other country has been in the World Cup so many times without ever winning a tournament. Oh, wow. But you guys beat us. You know, you guys beat Brazil. Was it in 2014? That was a heartbreaking moment for us. Oh, guys. Anyways. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I really do. And um, let me know what I should react to next. Thank you for watching. You can suggest a video. The link is in the description. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break. Always fight. Never quit. Do it right.